All right. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about, is the two-step URL dead? I think it died like 10 years ago, but, and is search find by dead, which is the most, the latest, the greatest, the hottest thing on ranking your product. And so this is something that's been making waves around the Amazon community. We're in late 2021, just before the holiday season. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people are kind of in panic mode because Amazon specifically came out or a moderator in in one of the forums came out and talked about this new code of conduct that Amazon released and part of their terms of service. We're going to dive into that today, but first I want to say hi to Adam. Adam's going to be joining me for this discussion today. I'm back. It's been good. It's been a while since, but I'm happy to be back on live and um, it's great to be back. Hello, everybody. All right, perfect. So what we're going to do is I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to read this verbatim from the forum. This is what's been making its way around the Amazon community. So this is in one of the the forums. It's a moderator in that forum. And it says this, the Amazon seller code of conduct requires acting fairly and prohibits manipulating sales rank. Keep that in mind, manipulating sales rank. We've recently received several seller inquiries regarding Amazon's policy on incentives that drive customer discovery and conversion, particularly through rebates, coupons, and other marketing incentives that are offered off Amazon as a way of driving a purchase in our store. So this is gonna get tough because my my camera's in the way. We welcome and encourage coupons, discounts, deals, and other tools to lower prices for customers and drive incremental sales. That's the Amazon platform. It was built on lower prices. So they love coupons, they love discounts. They give you all those tools internally, but only when those incentives are part of the product offer made in our store. Amazon offers numerous programs to help you drive discovery of new products and increase sales through lower prices. We welcome sellers advertising the same pricing and discounts off Amazon as they offer in our store. However, we consider it a violation of the Amazon seller code of conduct if off Amazon rebates, discounts, and other schemes are designed to drive customers to products that are listed and sold without those incentives on Amazon. These practices are potentially abusive to customers and other sellers, blah, blah, blah. Specifically, now this is the cool, this is the cool one right here. Let me zoom in just a little bit more, maybe if I can. Specifically, it is a violation of Amazon's code of conduct to manipulate search ranking. Again, manipulate search ranking, keep that in mind, to artificially boost their product search ranking through two-step URLs, super URLs, funnels, treasure hunts. I don't know what treasure hunt is, but it sounds fun. Search, find, and buy, and any other false or misleading behavior, a service by any name, by any name that's intended to artificially boost search or portray a discounted sale as full price is a violation. And think about this. If you're caught violating terms of service, you are gone. Just think about that. All right. So we'd like to remind sellers that you are responsible for the actions taken by your account, even those handled by third-party services provided to the seller who may not understand this policy. So what are your thoughts on this? <laughs> I, I, when I first saw, when I literally said search find buy, right? I mean, they know what we're doing, guys. I mean, I'm sure they have employees that are in part of masterminds that everything that find this stuff that know what's going on. So now it's just another thing to say, listen, build a brand, build a list, take care of them, focus on PPC and a great product and be patient long-term. And this is it. I mean, search find by, I mean, they have hundreds and hundreds of people that work with relevance and their engineers and they know what they're doing i mean maybe this year when people were saying oh you know the rankings all out of whack maybe they started to implement new things with the algorithm to find these things um that's just here say that's just a rumor don't start just a rumor (laughs) but you never know i mean i mean they're gonna i mean they're saying this now so it's it's on i mean be, be careful don't I want to just talk about manipulating sales rank. Yeah. Anything you do to manipulate sales rank is a manipulation of Amazon's algorithm, no matter how you do it. So a two-step URL, a super URL, a search, find, buy, even though the customer is searching, finding, and buying, you may not think Amazon can track that, but Adam, you brought up a good point when we were in discussion the other day is Amazon will measure how fast they get to the cart when they do a search find buy. So if you're on page seven and somebody's flying through page one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and adding your 
product to the cart that quickly, Amazon's going to be on to that. And so that, that I said, they, they can't track search find buy. And you said the speed to the cart and clicking all the way to page seven to do that. Amazon can track that stuff. Amazon can track two step URLs, no matter how you hide them. And so these have been kind of thought of as a gray hat area in Amazon for forever. Not necessarily white hat, but not necessarily black hat, but I'm here to tell you that it has been black hat the entire time. <laughs> Two step yeah. URLs, search find by all black hat because you're manipulating sales rank. Yeah. You're generating artificial traffic and conversion behaviors, which is manipulating their algorithm, which is against their terms of service. So let's talk about pretty much we've talked about this is a violation. Yes. Yeah. What do we do to rank? Well, we're not changing anything because we don't do any of this. And so yeah. it's, it's no different for us. And you kind of hinted at it earlier, build your brand, build your email yeah. list. I mm. email it my list all the time with huge coupons, 50% off to hundred percent off, but I'm not trying to get reviews for those. Mm. I'm just trying to drive sales yeah. and drive conversions. My goal isn't to manipulate the Amazon sales rank. My goal, I'm going to stop sharing. My goal is to drive sales, to get my customer to try my product and to start buying the product over and over again. My goal with a 50% off to 100% off coupon is not to manipulate the sales rank. It is 100% to get my product in the hands of the customer for them to try it. And then hopefully they'll, they'll rebuy it. And so that is what we've always focused on. And that's what we're going to continue to do. Direct link to the product from a landing page or from an email, that sales and conversion is going to drive more rank than manipulating. Because if you get caught manipulating, your account's gonna get suspended permanently. You're gonna be gone. Yeah, how are you gonna say, oh, please reinstate me? And they're gonna say, no, you're done. Get out of here. And guess what? The next seller's gonna come in. No problem for Amazon. Um, and then also too, I'd like to talk about a point is, all of this search find by all of these rebates that people are paying for, look at that cost. If you were doing that type of activity and, and then start doing some research. And if you don't already know it, find out what your lifetime cost per acquisition is for your customer. About a year or so ago, Travis was letting me know about what their cost per acquisition per product was for their, for their brand. And guess what? You can take that average and then look at that for that product and say, you guess what? The A cost is high, but I'm right there within my cost per acquisition to get a lifetime customer. If you have a great product, they're going to keep coming back. And if it solves a problem for them, they're going to come back. So take that information and instead of doing it on a rebate or a, or a search find buy, take it and spend more on your ads. Yeah. So to give you guys exact numbers of what he's talking about. So the lifetime value of our customer is about $340 right now. It changes every week because it goes up every week as we get more customers and get them to buy more. But right now on end of 2021, it's $340. We'll just do that for a nice even number. So that means I can spend up to $340 to acquire a customer. In Amazon's terms, that's an ACOS of about going off the top of my head, 2000%. And so most of you guys would freak out at that. And we don't go after 2,000%. We go after about a um, 100% ACOS. So that's our goal. Um, we don't hit that. We hit about 60% or about a 1.7 to 1.8 ROAS. And so just knowing your numbers and hitting a 2,000% ACOS is just impossible. Amazon wouldn't let that happen because Amazon doesn't want to serve your ads if you're that high of an ACOS. So our account runs at about a 60% ACOS over averaging across everything. And that works for us. And so find what works for you. Find the lifetime value, like what Adam was talking about. Ours is higher than most because we're a four-year-old brand now. We're not brand new, but just keep track of that. We've tracked it every week since 2018. And so it's something that you need to be tracking is lifetime value. It's hard to calculate with Amazon, but you can kind of guesstimate it. Um, and just by looking at repeat purchase sales and everything, but just know the, the bottom line of this video is just stop manipulating search rank, just drive sales and build a brand. Anything else to add? I do. Um, with now that, and also to Amazon's giving us more and more tools every couple of months or every month, different ways to promote our products, sell our products better. So there's no excuse 
to say, oh, this. No, you've got great assets to have fantastic um, photos, to make great videos. And then at the end of the day, start working with the new attribution links. You get 10% back to send a customer to Amazon. That's another way to boost your rank. Amazon's going to love the traffic that they're sending it to you. Um, and so do stuff like that. Just pivot. Um, but- yeah, we were talking about this in our meeting this morning, that diversity of traffic is huge. So Amazon PPC, sending your audience to it through emails, through blog posts, and then also doing Google attribution like you just talked about, and even using um, our Amazon attribution through Google, even using Amazon attribution through Facebook, those are two ways that you can drive a lot of traffic to your listing with a big coupon that's going to incentivize that purchase. Um, and then there's one more. I can't remember what I was. Oh, yeah. Once you get all those people on your listing, you can then use Amazon DSP, demand side platform, to then retarget them. Amazon wants you to treat their website like your own website. On Shopify, we drive traffic to Shopify. Then we retarget on Facebook and all over the internet with Google Display Network. Amazon is now wanting you to do that on Amazon and that's, they're giving you the tools necessary to do it. And they're giving you a 10% bonus right now. I don't know how long it's going to last, hopefully forever to do it. So we're just driving a ton of traffic to our, our listings, retargeting them with DSP. If they don't buy, if they do buy, we'll retarget them 30 days later to buy again. And so just creating this ecosystem inside Amazon, instead of just a one-sided PPC platform. And that, that's something that we can help with at Profitable Pineapple. We're starting to develop these ecosystems for our clients. It's a slow process. We're building it out because it takes team and it takes a lot of people to do this. Attribution is a little bit more intensive. There are softwares out there that will automate it for you. I find that they're not as good as us doing it manually though. So um, it just depends on what you're looking for. And we do a combination. So we have the automated software. We also do it manually though. And then in Facebook, we do those manually. Um, So diversity of traffic is key. Mm -hmm. You got anything else? No, just take this take this message seriously from Amazon. They're they're out. <laughs> and if you're Especially, doing a, a rebate key, isn't bad. Um, you know, AZ Rank. I just interviewed them yesterday in the Facebook Live group, um, the YouTube channel. If you're watching this on YouTube, it should be out probably in a month or so. They use Search Find Buy, but I guarantee they'll switch. If you're using a ranking software, rebate key, AZ Rank. Um, uh, what's the other one? Seller bell, rank bell, rank bell, um, Mm -hmm. H puck. Those are a bunch of them out there. Make sure they're sending it directly to your Amazon listing instead of doing search find buy. If they send directly to your listing, that is not manipulating the search ranking. It's going directly to the listing to boost your sales, to get it into the customer's hand. Yeah. And it's not with a special link, just a direct link. Yep. Nothing manipulated. All right. Let us know what you think. What are you doing? to launch your products now that they came out with this. This is nothing new. They just actually use the terms that we use internally. So it means that Amazon is listening to everything because, well, they are. Amazon PPC may seem like a complex subject, but it doesn't have to be. And that is why we created this channel. On top of Amazon PPC, we're going to share different tactics and strategies that we've used to build a multi-million dollar business, as well as the strategies that we're using to build a $100 million company, which is our goal. We don't know how we're going to get there yet, but that's our goal and we want to take you along for the ride. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell to be notified whenever we come out with great business building and the Amazon PPC strategies.